shocking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Don't think forgery means forgery. In court, Nigerian lawyers will use Latin to ask you if it means flaky. This is the words of Northern elders who are saying Nigeria is a joke, if you ask me. He said, because we told that it's happening, if you are not careful, you'll be surprised some of the things that are going on and what exactly is happening and all that is going on. You know, you will see indeed that things have really, really, truly, really, you know, not changed. And if we want to be honest and sincere, we should come out and say the truth as it, as it is without mixing words. It says, don't think that you will come there and that whether you like it or not, you know, Nigerian lawyers will tell you something else. Nigerian lawyers will tell you, they will judge this matter and they will explain to you what you don't want to hear. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Don't think forgery means forgery. In court, lawyers will use Latin to ask if it means flaky. Watch and see. Supreme Court will give you the drama of your life. The former Kaduna State lawyer and member of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Shea Usani, has stated that people should not think forgery means forgery because in court, lawyers will use Latin words to ask if it means flaky or fabrication. This statement was contained in a post that he shared on his official Twitter page on Friday. Say, Nigerians, don't deceive yourself. You are the same people. Don't get it, don't get it hacked, hacked up. At the end of the day, you'll be surprised what will follow. The statement is coming after the Chicago State University released the academic record of President Bola Metinubo. She Usani, in a post that he shared on his verified Twitter page, said people shouldn't think that forgery means forgery because lawyers will use Latin words to ask about it in court. After he made the statement, there were several reactions from social media users. According to Shea Usani, don't think the Supreme Court will give you a golden reason to see the truth. Don't deceive yourself. At the end of the day, they will ask you what forgery really means. By the time they start explaining and using grammar on you, you will not believe what has come and what is happening. They will change the story and the matter will be changed. Don't you think Nigeria Supreme Court would do something different? But let's give them benefit of doubt. So that's our very own brother, She Usani, who is looking at the whole thing and is wondering to himself, if really, sincerely, truly speaking, we can get justice if you know we continue in all that is going on now. He said, don't think that you will come and you will get justice from this Nigerian Supreme Court. They will come there and they will use all kinds of statements to want to get you off their back. Is what they do. Okay, is what they do. They've been able to explain why, you know, why Tinubu is a female, you know, on his certificate. Here it's been explained that Tinubu is female on his certificate, and you cannot begin to imagine some of the issues that are going on. Tinubu is female on his certificate, and it's very, very obvious for everyone to see. So whether you like it or not, there is a lot going on and everybody is wondering, you know, how we can truly get on and change the course of some of these things going on. Nigeria today is a place where, you know, white can be black and it's fine. You know, no questions asked. So um, if you hear the APC chief team, every single one of them, if not all of them, you know, are using English to change the course of what is going on. Every one of them, if not all of them are using English to change everything happening. So whether you like it or not, there is something that is seriously wrong. There is something that, you know, everybody needs to be aware of. And we all need to ensure that we do, you know, we, we work at it and bring justice and truth into all of this so that together we can change the course of what is going on already. Nigerians, the days are upon us. And every single person needs to know that we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. 
If we want things to change, if we want things to be better, we will have to rise up to the occasion and we'll have to do all that is needed and necessary. Wake up, my people. There is a lot going on already. All because of this Tinubu certificate, you know, people are fighting one another in terms of how they see things. In fact, other matters have come on board, you know, and people are asking themselves the same thing over and over again. If there's anything called truth, justice and honesty in all of this. So Nigerians, the issue is, can we really get justice? Can we really get truth? Can honesty and sincerity become our watchword? Can we truly understand some of these issues going on? You know, there's already a lot going on already. There's already a lot going on. And the people you think, okay, are fighting for justice, how many of them are truly sincerely fighting for justice in this nation? How many of them truly sincerely are working to make sure that the narrative change? Okay, so Tinubu is, Tinubu is that man who has come to put a lot of uh, spin in Nigeria's credibility. The, already, the credibility that a lot of persons are already asking, you know, how we can change this and how we can sort some of this issue is becoming a real serious matter. And everybody needs to understand that until the change really comes, we may not be able to truly get out of this. Okay, people are watching and people are wondering if, you know, what what the judiciary will do? What Nigerian will know? What will come out with this Niger with this whole episode and all that is going on? What will come out? What will come out of it? What will be the change in direction to show to everyone that truly, sincerely speaking, Nigerian uh, Nigerian is a nation of credibility and that we can get honesty and justice? Is it possible? Can we really get any of that? Can there be can there be credibility? Can we get on can we get honest, sincere people? This is the number one position in the country. This is the very, very number one person, the president of the country. So how do we how do we remedy ourselves? How do we get ourselves out of this? How do we get ourselves out of this? So these are some of the things happening, and every single person needs to understand that the days are upon us and we need to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again to keep us, you know, to keep us in the dark. If we want to get a change and we want to be sure that honesty and sincerity become our watchword, this is all we need to do, bringing this nation into a place of reputation so that change can truly come. Yes, so our government has got a lot to do. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button, so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.